Centipedes might just be the most unsettling creatures out there, with this many legs, erratic movements, and of course, a painful venomous sting. It's hard to not think of centipedes as scary and dangerous creatures. But looking past all that, one thing that sticks out about centipedes is the amazing array of colors they can have. And here in Florida, there is no shortage of absolutely captivating centipedes. I'm Mikey Green, and my goal is to show just how little we really know about the strange creatures living their hidden lives all around us. Today, we are exploring the scrub habitats of southern Florida in search of some strange centipedes, specifically the Florida blue centipede, one of the largest centipedes in the state, boasting a gorgeous bright blue and orange coloration. The Florida blue, being one of the biggest gems of the scrub ecosystem, can be very difficult to find as it lives underground and often hides underneath fallen pine logs on the ground. However, there are many more interesting centipedes here, and while flipping a pine log, I notice one of these crawling around. Let's take a look. All right, this is what's on my hand right here is what I thought at first when I found it was a baby of what we're looking for, the Florida blue centipede. But actually, this is a really cool species of centipede called Theotops posticus, also known as a forcep tail centipede, because of that really interesting structure at the end of the tail. Now, all centipedes have what are known as terminal legs, which is a strangely elongated and thickened pair of legs at the end of its body. Those are highly modified in this species and other members of the genus Theotops to be almost claw-shaped or forcep-shaped. Unlike what we're looking for, this species is always this bright orangish color right here, never developing any blue coloration. This individual is actually a baby. They get quite a bit bigger than this, though a full-grown adult Theotops is still not as big as a full-grown adult Florida blue centipede. So let's put this beautiful forcep tail centipede right back where we found it underneath that small log and keep looking for our main target centipede. That forceps tail centipede was a great sign that the Florida blue centipede might be hiding somewhere around here, but every log seemed to have anything else but these bright blue beauties underneath them, until... <gasps> Florida blue! Florida blue! Florida blue! Yes! Woo! Florida Blue! All right, what I have in this tube right here is one of the most iconic species of centipedes in North America. This is the Florida Blue Centipede, Scolopendra viridis, a species found in the dry regions of the Southern United States, especially these pine scrub habitats where we are right now in Florida. Before we get too into it, I'm going to take this amazing animal out of the container and see the Florida blue centipede is as dangerous as it appears. And here we go. The Florida blue centipede is right on my hand. As you can see, right now, it is not doing anything to show any signs of aggression towards me. No attempts to bite, which we'll get into that later, or do anything to potentially harm me. The centipede is actually quite nervous on me right now. As usual for centipedes, they move around quite frantically as they're not used to being disturbed out of their homes underneath logs. But as you can see, instead of trying to attack me, this gorgeous Florida blue centipede is just exploring my hand like it's a part of its environment. Now the Florida blue centipede is named after that distinctive and beautiful blue coloration it has. Not only are those legs bright blue, there's also a reflective blue stripe running down the back of each segment on this beautiful species, with the sides of each segment being this nice golden orange color, making the Florida blue centipede quite an unmistakable species out here in Florida. Then, now this species does get a little bit bigger than this. In fact, it is actually one of the giant centipedes. That's right, this species is in the genus Scolopendra, which includes some of the largest centipedes in the world. Now granted, this species, is one of the smaller members of the genus Scolopendra, growing much smaller than the Caribbean giant centipedes that we also get in South Florida. But it has that distinctive Scolopendra look to it though, with that overall flattened body, gorgeous patterning on it. And that head with those distinctive tiny eyes and those big fangs that they use to deliver a venomous sting. That's right, I just said sting. You might have heard many people saying that centipedes have a very painful and venomous bite. And while centipedes can deliver a painful toxin, they do not actually deliver it with their mouth parts, which are located, as you might guess, right at their mouth. They in fact deliver it with a modified pair of front legs called forcipules that are armed with a sharp tip on each side, delivering an extremely painful sting 
to not only any prey that falls victim to this Florida blue centipede, but also any predator that tries to eat it. Now, as you can see, I'm handling it super gently and with lots of care. However, I still do not suggest picking up centipedes, especially not Scolopendra, because number one, their venom can deliver quite the painful sting, but also number two, they are very frantically moving. This individual, I feel completely safe handling because it is not showing any signs of defensiveness. However, if a centipede is showing signs of defensiveness, that means it is a good idea to just enjoy seeing it and not trying to pick it up. Now, I might be asking, Mikey, how can anyone enjoy seeing a centipede? They're creepy, frantically moving, and they don't do much. They're so secretive. Well, centipedes are some of the most important predators out here in this subterranean microhabitats created underneath pine logs here in this Florida scrub ecosystem, where there are some of the top predators living underneath these logs, mostly eating termites, but also being able to take down ants, cockroaches, small crickets, maybe even smaller spiders too, easily demobilizing any small invertebrate prey with that venom and being able to use the cover of underneath any log to shield from predators of its own, giving it a safe space to eat pretty much any smaller invertebrate living underneath these logs. And in fact, centipedes are so well adapted to living underneath logs that they actually lack the very strong cuticle of most arthropods. Well, this might seem like a disadvantage as they can easily dry up or overheat when they're out of their log for too much period of time. But because these are pretty specialized predators of eating subterranean invertebrates, having a softer body than most other arthropods actually allows these to fit much better into spaces underneath the log. Now, some giant scolopendra can even take down small vertebrates like frogs and lizards. However, if Scolopendra viridis, to my knowledge, is not capable of this, even as full-grown adults. So I wouldn't be surprised if a big viridis might be able to take down maybe like a small greenhouse frog. And as you can see, after it was behaving so frantically on my hand, look how calm it is on my finger. These centipedes are absolutely beautiful animals that deserve our respect. And while those many admittedly kind of scary looking legs and that venomous sting, not bite, might sound scary to most people. Just take a step back and look at those absolutely gorgeous patterns. Most centipedes, especially the Scolopendra, have some of the most beautiful patterns of any animal. And these absolutely gorgeous subterranean apex predators often go unnoticed or overlooked, despite their undeniable beauty. This is just one of the most iconic and beautiful species of invertebrates that could be found out here in my favorite ecosystem the Florida scrub. This is one that I have been wanting to feature on my channel for years. This is exactly why I love going out here and just looking for creatures because you never know when you'll come across something as beautiful as the amazing Florida blue centipede. Let's put this little guy right back where we found it underneath that log. And if you guys want to see more centipede content, make sure to check out this video right here where we find a baby of the Caribbean giant centipede, a species I'd love to see a full grown adult of as well as much more invertebrates in the South Florida tropical hardwood hammock habitats. Joined by my friend Emilio from Animal Encounters. Hope to see you there.